I decided to go to Berlin because it's this city that has most embodied the troubled nature of the 20th century. The oscillation between decadence and social collapse, two world wars, the Holocaust, the forced acceptance but the eventual rejection of communism, the fall of the Berlin Wall, a city soaked in the drama and chaos of history. But should the artist deal with such a history? How much should be remembered and how much cast aside? Should he or she forget it all as though nothing had happened, as if that were possible? Or should he confront questions of memory, identity and nationality and test the moral imagination, his own and others? The artist Anselm Kiefer has had the courage and perhaps even the looniness to tackle it head on. In 1969, he produced the first of his books, some of which show him repeatedly giving the Nazi salute. He wanted to understand both the attractive and the corrosive nature of power. Kiefer probes deeply into the roots of German history and identity. His ambition ranges across myth and history and fiction from the legend of Parsifal to the architecture of Albert Speer. This painting is called Monument to an Unknown Artist, but of course the unknown artist is Hitler. Kiefer's work covers an enormous terrain of cultural reference and pictorial techniques, and in the process, he's tried to shoulder the content of tragic history and redemptive hope that so much recent art has tended either to trivialize or ignore. His use of materials gives his work power and resonance, whether it's names and numbers on bits of paper or toy aeroplanes, or children's clothes. And these come together in a series of pictures that commemorate the most infamous event in German history, the Holocaust. <laughs> 